ladies and gentlemen, is the first Romney welfare reform ad that the New York Times says is a new low in American politics. The New York Times says that Romney hit the bottom on welfare with this ad. Mitt Romney's campaign has hit new depths of truth-twisting with its accusation that Obama plans to gut welfare reform by ending federal work requirements. The claim is blatantly false, but it says a great deal about Romney's increasingly desperate desire to define the president as something he's not. It's, it's a parallel universe. It's Twilight Zone, and they don't have a single story of any, of any substance, of any weight, about Romney killed my wife. That ad. Here's the ad the New York Times is so exercised over. In 1996, President Clinton and a bipartisan Congress helped end welfare as we know it by requiring work for welfare. But on July 12th, President Obama quietly announced a plan to gut welfare reform by dropping work requirements. Under Obama's plan, you wouldn't have to work and wouldn't have to train for a job. They just send you your welfare check. And welfare to work goes back to being plain old welfare. Mitt Romney will restore the work requirement because it works. It's exactly what Obama did. And he did it very quietly, by the way. There was no big fanfare celebratory announcement. There was no calling the press, gathering in the Rose Garden. Hey, look at the vast and the wonderful and great improvements that I am making in welfare. They did this under cover of darkness, late in the day, quietly, no ceremony whatsoever. It's such a great damn thing. Why no pomp and circumstance? And this ad you just heard, that's the New York Times, says it's the most despicable thing yet. Now, the New York Times, they, they did do a fact check on the uh, Romney Killed My Wife ad. And the only thing they said about it was the Super PAC ad, the Romney Killed My Wife ad, compresses time in a way that links the closure of the steel plant with Mrs. Soptic's fatal illness. That's all they said about it. That's all they said. Let's go to Soundbite 7. is Bill Burton. This is the guy that runs the pack that did the ad. A, a truly uh, disgusting figure. He's on Anderson Cooper last night on CNN. Cooper says, how can you imply that Mitt Romney and Bain are somehow to blame for that poor woman dying of cancer? My goodness, we, we don't and we would not. I mean, those fact checks presuppose that that's exactly what we were trying to do, and that's not the point of the ad. The point of the ad is to tell the story of the impact that Mitt Romney had on the lives of thousands of people. When he came to town, they lost their jobs, they lost their health care, they lost their pension benefits, and that impact is felt still today in those communities. So, uh, we didn't imply that Romney killed her, we're just telling the story of how Romney killed her. We, we didn't imply anything, we're just telling the story. But again... The steel company asked Bain in. I, we're going blue in the face. I don't even think it matters to get the truth of this out. That's because that's that's a distraction in itself. That's not what this is about. What this is about is how low and despicable and disgusting the people around the president of the United States are, and just exactly the kind of people they are. I mean, it, the the Bain Capital was asked in there. Uh, this woman even had health insurance for two years. This guy was offered a buyout. He wasn't just summarily fired and sent to the tar pits. He was offered a buyout. And he would have been able to pay for his own health insurance had he wanted to. But no, he didn't. So now it's all Romney's fault. And Romney is separated by six years from this story. Here's more from Bill Burton. Anderson Cooper says, but you're a smart guy. Look, you got a lot of smart ad people in that group you're working with. And half of that ad is him talking about his wife's demise. And it ends with him saying, I don't think that Mitt Romney realizes what he's done. The implication, Burton, is clearly that Romney's responsible, or the actions he took, led to this woman's death. There are thousands of stories that happened as a result of, of Mitt Romney and his time at Bain. And some of them are really tragic. But just because they're really sad or tragic doesn't mean that they should be off limits. Well, we think it's 
important to tell the stories of these folks and how they were impacted by Mitt Romney. He put his business experience a woman dying. The but how is a woman dying? Being how? I mean, she had health insurance at, from her job after this man lost his job, and then she got an injury years later, and then lost her insurance. Right. To say that presupposes that we're trying to link Mitt Romney with her tragedy. I mean, you are. Is, you, you've made a no, no, commercial is, about Mitt Romney, and and it's all about this woman's tragedy. If you're not trying to link it, why are you even talking about her? Right. Well, we're not implying. Uh, that, 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 that Romney killed a man's wife. We're just telling the story about how Romney killed a man's wife. That's all we're doing.